Hello guys, welcome to our next Python internals um, video tutorial. Uh, so what we want to do so far is to add some Scylla functionality to the Python by abusing its source code, uh, I help say. And what we want to achieve for upcoming few videos, we have a list of integers with dear K, uh, you can get uh, the supported uh, methods and the dunder methods for this type. And uh, for list, they have uh, uh, the dunder len, it will return the len of the, the list, and of course, the built in len method um, for getting the length of the list. Uh, we want the same functionality for the integer type. Uh, why we uh, wanted it? It's for nothing but for, for fun, uh, because uh, the integer itself has no length. So uh, uh, it's, it's useless to have some type of length of the integer. But we want to return uh, and uh, return to zero for uh, down the lane and built in lane if we uh, call these functions, these methods on uh, the integer type. For now, of course, it will give an error. So int object has no attribute down the line, and the type error object of type int has no length. Uh, the crucial part of uh, this error is that if you remember the error type, uh, especially the string of the error, you can locate this uh, inside the C Python source code and try to uh, manipulate there in order to bypass this limitation. But prior to this, before this actually, um, we need to understand uh, the list object, the list type itself. So if you type um, a key, it's a list, list type, and of course every, as everything it's a type type. So there should be some pi list type as pi long type for the integer and it should be pi type type. Uh, and let's see this thing uh, in the source code. So pi list uh, type. Uh, th this, uh, the, the Python's list object implementation uh, is located under objects and list object dot C file. There's a pylist type, and it has, uh, of course, as the first thing that this pi var object with reference to the pi type type, uh, the uh, TP name, the list uh, size, and every uh, uh, supported methods for this. Especially, it's interesting that <coughs> the list type is an iter iterable type, and it's a sequence type. Uh, so, and the supported methods for this sequence is to getting the list length, a list conc concatenation, list repeat, and uh, all sorts of things. So the list length itself, let's see, itself implemented like uh, returning the pi size, returning the pi size. So pi size is simple, getting the object size stored with all the stored object size. So for list type, to getting the length of the list is uh, way more easy because it's already stored in the object uh, in the object header. Maybe I don't know. No, it's it's object field. Uh, <coughs> that's the that's not the important part for us uh, for now. But also, also you can see what's there. Let me just jump back and uh, have this list methods. So itself list methods, uh, it has all, uh, all, all the methods uh, which should be as TP methods. So this type methods, it has list methods, but it's also as a sequence. So as a, as a sequence method, it has also this, um, this implemented uh, sequence methods. So I just want to find the exact implementation of nope. 
<clears throat> okay, uh, it's clear that we, if we want to add support uh, for the integer type, uh, we should definitely use such things. So it's a, it, we will have the int length, something, some sort of thing, and it will implement the um, it, it will implement the uh, calculating uh, thunder, calculating length of the integer. But we will just return the zero here. So it's quite straightforward. But for now, let's just uh, create a list, create a list, and append the uh, the member append the member to the, uh, to the list by using Python C API. So what we want to achieve here, uh, as you see, we have this list, let me just clear. And we want, and we, if we want to append something here, like we just call the append method, append method, and it's, uh, it's going to add this integer to our list, but we want uh, it's the hard way. So, Let's attach our Python 3.9 uh, interpreter to as a debugger and um, add the breakpoint as a main, then run, then call py initialize. And there should be something like py list new method. Py list new. Yeah, so it's accepting some kind of size. If size uh, um, less than zero, it will return the null. So it, it, it cannot create the list type with uh, some negative size. So it's usual, understandable. So let's call pi list new, uh, let's say with zero. And ideally it should, uh, it should create an empty list. So let's just by object print and get this memory. Oops, um, str and one. So as you see, it's empty, empty list. Great. Then there should be some append uh, or append uh, method on uh, on this list type. Uh, just just a few checks if we can get some info from uh, less. Yes, it's a pi list type that created the pi list type, and also if you get this, uh, it will give the, uh, the all properties this pi list type has. Uh, quite straightforward as with long type, as with the integer type. Uh, let's search for append. Um, append. Pylist append, yes, we have such uh, the function and it accepts uh, uh, the pi object and the new item. So we need to pass the first of all the address of the already created list and the new item uh, to this um, list. So we have already created uh, the new list item, so we can call this and get, uh, get this here. But no, but prior to this, we should create, say, uh, um, at the integer, so pi, Pi long or from long, some kind of integer. Great. Then append to already created list is this new created integer. Great. Then try to again print this list. So as you see, we have appended the desired. Uh, integer to the uh, to our uh, list object, our list type. I'd say uh, that's it for now. So we have ex explored the list object uh, and the pylist new and pylist append uh, functionality. Here, how to create an empty list? Or oh, uh, one interesting thing. So if you create 
<coughs> say with the past the five here with well, files new and try to try to print it so you will see that uh, the list is initialized uh, with the uh, null values as a uh, as a field members so uh, that's a it should be interesting uh, I guess to everybody how to how to uh, call uh, the internal Python C API uh, functions and they it's quite actually uh, uh, self self explained it has uh, the similar names so py um, project print pylist app and pylist type and every every sort of thing that they are quite understandable and that's it for now uh, uh, see you in the next video and i hope we are going to add this len functionality uh, to, uh, to for calculating the length of the integers in the next video see you